So I kind of gave a little bit of a mixed sing signals. So I, I guess because I was trying to give you guys advice, which dip typically does not end in a good video. Because it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know how old you guys are. And you might be like, oh, why, why does our age matter? Well, it, it makes a big difference in how much earnings you have. Are you at the maximum earning potential? Or are you, you know, working at McDonald's as a teenager? You're just in college, so you can't really find, you know, a better job. Are you old and retired? And therefore, you should definitely not be buying the Magic 30th Edition $1,000 booster box. Um, so uh, again, I cannot give general advice that is good advice for everybody who watches the video, because. You know, advice, financial advice for a 20 year old should be significantly different from a two, from a 30 year old, from a 40 year old, from a 60 year old, you know, and financial advice to a lawyer, a high potentially earning lawyer or doctor will be very different from somebody who works at Walmart, right? So I'm only going to speak about myself. I am a small business owner. I own a marketing agency here in humble Texas. It is. I call it humble. Yes, I know people call humble without the H, right? Silent H. I don't care. You know, it's just easier for me to say it. And honestly, there's no other YouTubers here, so who else will know the difference? The taxes I'm paying for property tax is much, much higher than anything I've ever seen. And the property tax, in case you don't know, is based on the property value. Now, given that real estate is in a bubble, the government decides, hey, well, your property went up $100,000, $200,000. We are going to charge you more money in property tax. So the property tax, the uh, school tax, so all the thing taxes that we, I, we have in state, uh, school, property, HC, there's three of them, and they're very big. Uh, this year is about $3,500, and 6000 Six thousand being the school district, right? Even though I don't have kids, I pay into the school district based on the amount my home is worth. I so I'm paying about thirteen thousand in those taxes, and then the homeowners association fees I think went up again this year. So that is probably a much bigger tax bill than last year um, by at least twenty five percent, thirty percent. That again wasn't really expecting. Makes sense when you see on paper, right? Oh, my property value went up. I have to pay more taxes. Another thing uh, is Christmas bonuses for the year. Uh, that's definitely something that uh, we I, I always want to give. I always want to talk about and. Uh, it's always a percentage of the, their salaries, right? So the teams that the team members I have kept, their salaries are actually high. They, they got raises this year, and their bonus is just a percentage of. And I always ask them to invest it and you know put it in their four hundred one ks or whatever else investment portfolios they want to put it in, and it will also match that particular bonus. So if they decide to take the bonus and some of the percent, I'm not going to actually reveal the percentages. I think it's unfair to them. Um, X percent. And if you put that in your 401k or your savings will match that X percent. Uh, so the money that, you know, would be, we would be paying for bonuses would be quite high this year for whatever reason. It's, it's very high. I, I sat here crunching numbers. I have my checkbook out, <laughs> postage stamps. I'm just crunching numbers. Uh, and regardless, so this is financial advice for like anybody, regardless of like who you are, what right now is a good time to start crunching numbers. I know people wait for tax season and so on, but a lot of these taxes are due January 31st, February 38th, 28th or something like that. And if you do go and spend in Christmas, I absolutely make sure the government is paid. If you do not pay the government or your check bounces, trust me, you're going to have a nightmare -ish scenario coming. So do you need that palette of new Pokemon cards versus paying the government? No, pay the government first. And then if you have money left over and you feel like that's safe, then get it. So in my opinion, uh, I, I'm not going to, I never lied to you guys. Business is down. My marketing business is definitely down. Uh, we are not making nearly as much as we made two years ago. Uh, there's definitely a financial difference. I don't know exactly, but I'm calculating right now. But there has been a drop in business. Um, a lot of the tech companies that we work with, Facebook ads and so on, they've been laying off. Twitter laid off, uh, Amazon's laying off, Amazon has ads as well. 
So all the companies that we were running ads on, they've been doing massive layoffs because people like me are no longer spending as much money. So if you ask why does Meta have a layoff, why does Twitter, they, they all, what does Google, they all have platforms which rely on marketers like me giving them money to do marketing. But if my clients don't want to do as much marketing, I don't give them as much money and then therefore they have to do layoffs. So that's kind of the, <laughs> the funnel, if you will. You know, <laughs> things I think, because I'm in marketing, so I'm the canary, and I've actually have my other channel. I go into great detail about why this is always the case. When the economy is going to recover, I'm marketing is the first thing to go up. But when the economy is going to collapse, marketing is the first thing to go down. Because many times, like I'm as an outside small marketing agency one of the first things people do cut is their marketing. So when I see like my dentist, my lawyers, either they're not spending as much or they are cutting the services, you know, some services completely, um, that's a very clear indication that something is going to happen soon, not just to, you know, just marketing agencies, but across the board. Because if I'm not, you know, if I'm not getting money, I'm not paying Google money, if Google is not getting money, it's going to make layoffs on their end. And same with uh, Facebook, same with Twitter, same with any Amazon, any platform that depends on advertising dollars, right? Depends on people like me running ads. I can tell you that the advertising dollars have definitely dropped off. And that is a very bad indicator for where the economy is heading. Uh, I wish I had better news, but that's just where it is. Again, I can, I'm going to speak to myself now and not to anyone else. Because I think um, in the previous video, when you give like very vague statements, it's probably not helpful to anybody, right? That you can say, oh, save money. I mean, that's kind of a nice statement, but just telling you my position is you gotta protect employee jobs. That's number one. Um, clients come number two after employees. Unfortunately, they don't wanna hear that, but that is the honest God truth because otherwise who would do the work You know, if you don't have good employees? So we still have our NFT artist. We still have Jess. We still have Norman. We still have Hudson. We still have Amy, and then obviously me. So we still have a team of six people. Uh, you can we have you can call Alexa a team member. She's remote worker. I mean everyone's remote, but she's like remote remote. Uh, not even in the same state. Um, we have a lot of difficulties this year uh, financially. It was not the best year for us. Uh, we had some really, really good, really, really fat years, if you will, and we saved a lot of money. But this year has been, it's all been okay. I mean, had we not, had I not saved so much money and have, you know, this tendency to like save money, I think we, we would still be okay, but we wouldn't have a year of escrow for next year. I'm just going to survive. That's it. I have no intentions of expanding. I have no intentions of really hiring out. I do need to hire somebody to do this magic channel, but that's like a specific job, right? That's not like expanding into different areas. This is something that I need somebody to help me with, but that I'm already doing that I do think is profitable. A lot of you guys, you know, I, I will show you my dashboard one day and it's surprising how much money I make from ad revenue. I don't know, really know where it's coming from, but okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Times are tough, guys, even for me. I started doing more patent stuff, so I'm accepting uh, doing some patent applications here and there to make you know extra money for my hobbies. Uh, I'm no longer buying as much. Uh, my buy list is was very high. I think it was one of the I, well, I don't think it is the highest because if you found a higher buy list, I would go over the top of that buy list. Right, so it's up to you to go find the highest buy list. But assuming that you did your due diligence, which you should have, I pay you way more, not way, I, I pay you five to 10% more than any other buy list you can find. And I'm not gonna do that probably for next year. I'm still, you know, stuck on my distribution contract. Not stuck, I enjoy it, it's, it's fun, it's good prices. Uh, and that ends in another 10 months. So I have, I'm fully committed to that. That's a base of 60, but they want me to do at least 120. Uh, 120 would definitely get me renewal, which would be nice. So it's anywhere between 60,000 and 120,000 I have to spend with this particular distributor over a year. So that's a contract set in stone. I got a plan out for that. 
Um, just sitting here doing math, planning stuff. You know, right now I, I definitely definitely tell you that it's a good time to start paying your taxes, start planning stuff out, property tax, school tax, whatever it is, plan out, you know, the next year's budget. And that's what I do during Thanksgiving is I just, you know, during the holiday season, I just sit here and do some math and I basically just do all my taxes. <laughs> and it's nice, it's nice and quiet. Obviously I have three dogs and a cat, so it's not as quiet as it could be, right? If I didn't have animals. Uh, I, I see how much money I can donate to charity uh, at the end of the year. Um, and I'm always very careful, right? With what charities I pick. I don't donate money to a charity I've physically not been to. And that's like the key. Like if I gone to the animal shelter, I know this place actually exists. And they asked me to pick up dog food once in a while, right? And I know like I'm paying for the dog food. I've already gone over this a million times. Like the, the people who volunteer at animal shelters, they tend to be very frail. <laughs> I'll put it that way. I, I can tell you nobody's picking up a 50 or an 80 pound bag of dog food. I can barely pick it. I'm very frail too. Like, you know, so, but like, I, but like, I, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta at least impress the old people, right? Like you can't let, I mean, yeah, I mean, okay. So I'm frail. I'm not, I'm not the strongest dude. And, uh, but you can't let the, you know, 60 year old uh, woman, like, you know, like to not to be like, you know, but it's just not going to work. Like, you know, physically anyway. Uh, I do write some pretty big donation checks during the holidays, but after I've done my finances. And then I know how much money I have for gotcha games, I have how much money I can get for Pokemon cards, magic cards if I do that route. And then I know like the, my whole like, you know, plan for the whole year, like how much money I can spend, what I should avoid, you know, oh, I can't go, I can't afford to play poker every day. Uh, Cause I, <laughs> I'm, it's really weird. You'd think that like poker, you would just learn it and you wouldn't forget it. But like, it's, it's like tough, man. It's tough. Like, it's like, if you haven't played po I haven't played poker in a while, it's pretty savage beatings for the first few sessions. And then you just got to continue. And I think it's probably, it's, it's really just like opening packs. Really. You're just hoping that the volatility eventually the variance eventually subsides and your true ratio, which everyone thinks is a positive number, which may not be true. My, I mean, my true number may not be a positive number. My true return on investment may actually be negative. But if you play enough hands, you do enough games, you're going to figure out what your actual true number is, as opposed to the volatility where sometimes you can be on a heater and sometimes you can be on a cooler, right? It's a very honest talk I'm having with you guys. Maybe we'll do a live stream about like the honest, you know, the difficulty of running a business. I mean, you always got to look out for your employees. Uh, they do dumb shit during the holidays. And they're always needing more money um, during the holidays. Uh, I, I can't even explain it. It's like I, you know, we actually sit them down, and I sit them down. And we talk about finances very openly uh, now via Zoom. <laughs> you know, we used to do it in person. And uh, you know, like uh, for instance, Norman, he has three kids, and I don't know like how this is possible because like I, I know obviously I know what he makes, and he doesn't make as much as me. I'm the boss, of course, right? I make more than he does and he's got a home a car free kids and a wife that doesn't really work because obviously there's free kids at home and they're very young kids i think one of them is two one of them is four one of them is like six and i don't even know like i don't even ask anymore is this right he might, he might have a fourth kid on the way um yeah, it's great. And he doesn't have any family because he's, he's an immigrant. And like, you know, I, I just don't know how he does it. It's kind of like my parents did it when I was young. I don't know how they kind of put the ends meet together. For like me, a single male, I'm very irresponsible with my money. And uh, even me, I have to sit down here and, you know, do some work booking, right? So I, I like to do it during the holidays because typically clients don't call me during the holidays. So I can just focus on my own stuff. Anyway, this is kind of a long, long rant. I don't know what this was even about. Bye, guys.